Welcome to the Erawan Museum, a cultural treasure that serves as both a place of worship and a work of art. This is our brief yet engrossing tour through the museum. Come and witness a captivating fusion of history, mythology, and breathtaking architecture, all revolving around the recognizable three-headed elephant that defends this priceless find in the center of Samut Prakan. As we came closer, the very first thing which catches our attention was the astonishing view of the three-headed elephant statue that rises above the natural surroundings. As we walked through the exquisitely designed grounds, we were welcomed by serene ponds and an abundance of greenery. Our young child, full of curiosity and widened eyes, examined it all in and pointed joyously at the enormous elephant. Known as one of Thailand's most distinctive tourist attractions, this museum, which is situated in Samut Prakan, is a place wherein mythology and religion come to life in addition to honoring Thai art. We stop for a while in the waiting area, getting ready to take it easy for a while before moving forward. There were light snacks and cold drinks, as well as brewed quality coffee available. We head to the ticket counter after a few minutes of contented silence since we are all eager to view the museum's inside. As we delved into, we were completely fascinated by how the museum seamlessly combined mythology with historical pieces. As we enter, we stumbled upon on a beautifully manicured route that delicately turned across the botanical gardens. The stunning view of the massive three-headed elephant dominated the landscape even from such a distance. With its heads held bravely toward the sky, the finely carved statue appeared to be watching over the whole scene, as though defending the museum's spiritual artifacts. With a lengthy exhalation, we composed ourselves and prepared to walk into the holy place indoors. We realized that beyond these entrances was far more than simply artwork and architecture. There was a tale awaiting to unfold, an exploration that would lead us further into the fascinating culture and religious legacy of Thailand. When inside, we were instantly engulfed by the feeling of admiration and its beauty. The inside of the museum sensed like walking into another world, one in which each turn held an intriguing find. The main level presented us to the cultural gems of Thailand, with remnants that told narratives of the kingdom's past events. Our little girl was attracted to the vivid hues and the gentle light of the windows made of stained glass above us while we were captivated by the detailed work of art around us. One could not help but sense awe at the atmosphere. With every step we took toward the magnificent staircase, 
the fine features of the handrails, carved with fantastical animals, became more and more enchanting. The second level, which was more peaceful and religious, got us more deeply into Thai cosmology. In this section, artwork of divine and mythical beings appeared to near come into life. Ultimately, maybe the most stunning point occurred when we rose to the third level, which was located inside the tummy of the three-headed elephant itself. The environment was circular in shape, illuminated in a soft and subtle light created by the colorful stained glass above. It was right here where we sensed a more profound connection to Thailand's spiritual heart, enclosed by art that shows the complex equilibrium between the physical world and the underworld. The ambient lighting, the calm atmosphere, it all convinced us to take a minute and reflect. As we opted to walk our way out and we cautiously start going down the huge spiral stairwell, every step we're feeling careful, like we were winding down from the sense of religious participation we had just went through. The delicate sparkle from the windows made of stained glass still remained releasing bright shadowy figures on the interior walls as we strolled downward. There was something fulfilling about this small ritual of putting our shoes back on as we got closer to the shoe rack from where we had removed them earlier, as if marking the conclusion of a certain episode and the start of the next. Thus, with our walking shoes on and the heart filled of the fascinating insight, we took the first few steps off away from the museum, geared up to go on our adventure. Getting outdoors onto the lush greenery, the transition between the holy indoor to the peaceful outdoor was completely seamless. We reduced down our pace, allowing the serenity of the outdoor space sink in, embraced by the beautiful things that nature provides and the quiet humming that circulated everywhere around us. We then got a bit further, finding ourselves drawn to a tiny lake situated away in the middle of the yard. It was a calm area, bounded by lush foliage, with a soothing sound of flowing water dripping into smooth rocks. We came onto a quaint little coffee establishment by accident. We were drawn in right away by the shop's strong aroma of freshly made coffee. We ordered our drinks, something refreshing. I had a cold iced coffee, but my husband had a fragrant tea. Too young for coffee, our daughter sipped contentedly from a cool fruit juice cup, her hands gripping it tightly as she gazed around in awe. The breeze sensed less hot now, and sunshine filtrated lightly by means of the lush foliage creating diffused shades across the garden. We discovered a peaceful location beneath the shadow of a big tree and chose to relax for a few minutes. Our child, fascinated as ever, quickly began examining the small spots of Bermuda grass surrounding her, her small hands stretching out to grab every flower and leaf through finger's reach. The lawn below us was crisp and supple, and as we agreed to rest, everything within us appears calmer. Eventually, we slow our pace, sit down for a while, and plan on our next tour destination. The whole day was not over at this point. We planned to go to Pratunam, a shopping district in the heart of Bangkok. 
It was the ideal break during a full day of exploration, and we will never forget it as one of our favorite serene and lovely moments we had at the Erawan Museum. We knew it was time to go on after a while, as the sun started to set lower in the sky and illuminate the garden with a nice amber glow. Before we go out, we each took a final deep breath to allow the serenity of this very moment to fill us, then had a few souvenir clips. It proved to be one of those experiences that reminded us the reason we enjoyed traveling together. Because every place we visited, irrespective of how extravagant or simple, it evolved into a special and very memorable when shared. Thank you very much for watching this video and joining us on this interesting video. We sincerely hope that you enjoyed it as much as we did. Please do watch the next part, our walking tour in the heart of Bangkok, Pratunam.